this video, I want to share with you my quick and easy kind of last minute Halloween costume or Halloween makeup. So this is the look I went for. This is a scary zombie look. This is my first time attempting a look like this and this was relatively quick and easy and I thought I'd just share with you the products that I used and maybe recreate a scar on my forehead so you can get the gist on how I did this look so that you can try this and be out the door for your Halloween party or Halloween shindig that you may have tonight. You're going to be like, wow, that's it? That's all you do? Yes, this one is very, very quick and easy. And I'm going to go ahead and create a scar right now for you on my forehead. I think I'm going to go ahead right in here to create a scar. Almost as if I, maybe I had a, fall, a bad fall and I bumped my head or something like that. But yeah, that's what we're going to do to go ahead and give you an idea on how to create this scary, bruised up, bloody look. I'm going to start by using um, a liner pencil. You can use whatever type of liner pencil you want. This is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to figure out where I actually want to place my my bloody scar and I think I'm going to do it right here in this area so I'm just going to make a small gash or cut right here that's it so I traced out a little scar that is where I want my scar to be and it doesn't have to be fancy. This is Halloween. So that's it. Now that I have that etched out, we're going to go ahead and apply our bloody mess. And these are the two products that I use. I don't have a special effects kit or any special effects makeup. I'm using stuff right here from my vanity. And this is what I'm using. These two liquid lipsticks by Nika K. This is what they look like. I'm using Wineberry and Shiraz. And these are just matte liquid lipsticks that you pick up from the beauty supply store. And I'm going to start by filling in the scar with this red one and I just did my makeup as I would normally I laid down my foundation as you've seen in my previous videos of me doing my foundation but I just contoured heavily to give myself a zombie look so this look is all about the contouring and shading so you want to use your darker products for your contour and I will definitely show you what I use to contour see already we have a bloody scar and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more and I chose this I don't wear this lipstick on my lips for a few reasons but I kept it but this just cakes up which is a good thing for this look because it's going to give us this 3D, three-dimensional look. So once it dries, this is just going to cake up and ball up. And it's going to be perfect for Halloween. This just made the perfect dried up blood. Take a look at that. Alright, so now that we have that layer on... We're going to go ahead with the next color, which is Wineberry. And we're just going to go around that red, covering up that black line that we created.
Oh, that is just looking gory and juicy already. You don't want to cover up all of the, of your Shiraz, which is the lighter, more vibrant red, because you want it to kind of look bloody and realistic. So I'm going to pile on just a little more. And this dries to a complete matte finish, so you don't have to worry about this getting all over your clothes or any of that. There we go. And there is our bloody gash on our forehead. We're going to let that dry, and as it dries, it gets darker. And it just looks so much like dried up coagulated blood so awesome all right once that dries you want to go into some of your darker maroon berries or your black eyeshadows and kind of distress it out a little bit go with i'm going to go in with sketch by mac this is what it looks like and this is just like a dark dark berry color and i'm just going to distress it a bit you know make it look sore Just put some bruising around it. And I'm going to go in again with Film Noir by MAC. And it's a deep chocolatey brown. This is also what I used to contour my entire face with today. And it gave me the perfect dramatic zombie look. And there we go. And for my lips, I'm going to go in again, just touch up my lips. I'm using Cherry Bomb by Wet n Wild. This is what that color looks like. Then in the center, I'm going to use Haute Couture by MAC. And you can use any black lipstick you want. Just in the center of my lips. For a more ghouly effect. And I just took an eyeliner pencil. To extend the corners of my lips a bit. A more dramatic look almost looks like corpse bribe then we're gonna go back into sketch just add some distressing around it and with my contour brush I'm just gonna touch it up just touch up my contour a bit Now I'm going to grab a black eyeshadow. I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro 2 palette. With an angle E70. And I want to further smoke out my eye area. And feel free to get creative with this. 
this is Halloween okay let's get creative I'm just gonna take another blending brush and just blend it a little more just blend it And I'm bringing it into, just dragging it into my nose contour and just bringing it down. And you want that nose contour to be really, really strong. You really want to look like a zombie. And I'm going to touch up my dried up blood around my nose. And to add the blood splatter, you're just going to take that doe foot applicator and just tap it in places you want blood splatter to go. Just tap it. Just like I did all in here, you're just tapping it. And that is it. And look how this has dried since we've been talking. It's perfect. Just add a few more specks around it. And then I'm just going to smear a little of it. Just to make it look a little bruised and sore. And that is it, you guys. This is my quick, easy, glam, zombie look. I hope you like this. Let me know if you can recreate this look. Make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can share it with my friends on Instagram as well as here and on my blog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween. Bye.